This is filmed before a live studio audience. Got to be somebody in here with a brain. I mean, I don't even care if she's good looking. You got a sister, Fraser? No. You have a dress? What's the occasion? Try to help out a few newly enterprising friends, and what do you get for your trouble? 45 minutes in hell. <laughs> Keep it down, will you? Keep it down here. Keep it down? I've got the worst sunburn of my life thanks to a faulty thermoregulator on tanning machine number three, the Bahama Mama. <laughs> Crazy. Supposed to start off slowly, all right? But uh, I must say, you do have one heck of a fantastic base coat there, Bruce. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and your, uh, your shirt sure smells fresher. Really? Uh, it's not too lemony. Not for you. <laughs> Evening, sir. Hey, Frazier. What's with your voice? Oh, I spent the afternoon screaming at a patient. Oh. <laughs> what, what kind of therapy is that? No, it's not therapy. You burned a hole in my carpet. <laughs> Miss Chambers, what's the pilgrim get up for? No, I was hoping somebody might ask. We're gonna have to talk later, Woody. My graduate American literature professor, Dr. Narsutis, annually recreates the first Thanksgiving dinner at his home. He only invites two or three favored students to break bread with his family and other honored guests, such as William Styron. And guess who's going to be there? William Styron? <laughs> Yes, Woody. Ah, uh, heck, anybody could have got it if they'd really been listening. What a wonderful opportunity for you, Diane. You know, perhaps in the evening you can establish a rapport with Mr. Styron while passing the yams. Who knows? Come pie time, he may well have taken you under his wing and launched you into the literary galaxy. Frazier, you and I are of like mind. Except one of us is kidding. <laughs> What's everybody else doing? Yeah, that sounds like fun too. <laughs> well, I'm on my own this year. Kids aren't with you? Nah, they're in uh, Atlantic City with Nick. Yeah, this is my first Thanksgiving away from home. I mean, unless you count last year. <laughs> Wait a second. Listen to you, Carla. You have a new place. You can have a little gathering. Forget it. Oh, come on. What could be more enjoyable than opening your heart with holiday cheer? Opening yours with a can opener? <laughs> that sounds great. No, I, I meant the first part, Miss Chambers. Well, why not? But it's going to have to be potluck. Sammy, why don't you bring your date and join us? All right. Tell you what, Carla. I'm good for dessert. So I've been told. <laughs> you know, I'm glad to see that you're all fending off the holiday blues. This time of year is filled with arguments, suicides, murders. Yeah, I guess it's the seasonal happiness of others tends to throw a glaring light on the flaws in our own interpersonal relationships. But gee, of course, that's no problem for me. I'm alone. <laughs> Want to join us for some bird, Frazier? Could I? <laughs> Hello, one and all. Hello. How are you, love of my life? Just fine. Pain in my neck. <laughs> the most exciting thing has happened, you'll never guess. I got a letter from Syzygy. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Who's Syzygy? It's not who. It's a new literary review dedicated to publishing the prose and poetry that's right on the cutting edge. Well, I've won them excited for you, Diane. Oh, there it passed. <laughs> How about that, Al? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, married, Sam. I thought you said you'd never marry Diane. Well, I, I never uh, said that exactly. No, no, I think the exact words were, I'd rather have every hair on my body pulled out simultaneously. <laughs> 
Well, that, that's just an, an expression. I mean, no, no, seriously, you know, I, we all knew it was going to happen sooner or later. I just thought I'd get it over with. Well, Diane, Sam, congratulations to both of you. Diane, I hope you're planning to stay for the entire ceremony this time. Mars was... <laughs> It's a matrimonial death stay. Guess that leaves only one stud to satisfy all the babes in this bar. Yeah, I can handle it, too. Hi. Hey, I bet you never thought you'd see the day, huh? Nice shirt, Sam. Is it new? No, it's not. Uh, okay. Did you hear what I said up there about me and Diane getting engaged? The beer distributor calls. He wants to know if he can change the delivery day to Wednesday. Carla, I know that we haven't always seen eye to eye, but you could at least wish us well. I need a draft. Fascinating. She's experiencing denial. What's that mean, Dr. Crane? Well, simply put, it means that the human mind blocks out that which it cannot emotionally accept. What's that mean, Dr. Crane? <laughs> It means that you don't understand this, and you never will. Let's wrap it up, guys. Oh, oh, well, all right, Sam. We can uh, finish this up tomorrow. Well, who's winning now, Dr. Crane? Oh, what does it matter who's winning? <laughs> we'll just start up fresh tomorrow, OK? All right, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Woody, I refuse to continue playing if every time you take one of my pieces, you go... I'm sorry, Dr. Crane. I thought it added a little bit of excitement to the game. Well, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, Woody. You know, I think it's time we took off the gloves. I've allowed you to defeat me several times <laughs> because I was going easy on you so as not to crush your natural enthusiasm. But I think it's time you took a giant step toward maturity. There are a great many lessons to be learned in defeat. Chief among them is how to lose gracefully. Checkmate. <laughs> you missed my king. <laughs> Fight, you stood up for yourself. Come on, look me in the eye, face to face here. Didn't it feel great? Well, I have to admit, <laughs> there was a moment there when I had a feeling of satisfaction like never before in my life. <laughs> Sorry, Diane. <laughs> Come on, the Merlin here's Wesky across the Boston line, pass in front. Sprawling save by Eddie Levesque. He went sprawling to the left side and kicked it out with his leg. Hey, two beers and a vodka rocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Come on, is my order up yet? What? Oh, come, come and give me a second. Yeah, you're people here, Sammy. You run in a bar, you just watch some stupid hockey game. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to know what the score is? It's Boston leading. Yeah. Did the Oilers score on Eddie? No. Not interested. Well, the guy that... Oh, oh, oh. Penalty! What? He calls that slashing? Well, oh. Frazier, he nearly cut Curry in half there. Oh, ticky-tack, it's a wussy call. Let the guys play the game. <laughs>